Okay, so I just saw this video on YouTube about it was made by um, Nick Pembroke. I think that's how you say that. And it says how to make homemade iPod speakers. And I noticed he got a he did it a simple way, and this way works, but this isn't a very efficient way of doing it. The way I would suggest doing it is doing it the way I have it set up out here. I've got a power amp. You need some kind of power source if you're going to have speakers. You know? And an iPod doesn't put out enough power to power those speakers. Those were car speakers, so I'm guessing they were like around, I'm just guessing, 200 watts, and they were phase plugs. So, yeah, although they were probably as loud as they were in the video because, uh, they were probably as loud as they were in the video because they're forum speakers, but still, iPod doesn't have enough power to power those kind of speakers, so you need an amp. This is a cheap amp, and this is an amp I would recommend, you know, and it's a good amp. This amp that I'm using here in my room, it's a bit more pricier. I mean, it's not incredibly expensive. It's only like 70 bucks. But you don't want a $70 120 watt amp for iPod speakers. No, that's for a bigger project. You want one of these. This is a good amp. And now, it's not the cheapest amp, but it's the one where you can get the most for your money. I'm sure everybody who knows of these cheap Chinese power amps knows what La Pai is. Everybody knows what La Pai is. And, uh, yeah, that's a cool amp. I did a demonstration in, a, in a, another video about that amp. But I'll do another demonstration, just, you know, why not? And, yeah, so this is how you make proper iPod speakers. Alright, so... Here's my demonstration. As you can tell, it can go pretty loud. And this amp's pretty interesting too. It um it can run on 4 ohms or 8 ohms, which I think's pretty cool. Excuse me. Now if you want to talk about something serious, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's only 300 watt system. There's the thing for, for it. It's only 300 watts. Not incredibly impressive, but... It's not incredibly impressive, but it's something. This is an awesome song. So yeah. That's how I'd say you make real iPod speakers. You gotta have a power source. Now, what I did... I don't know if I still have this thing. Let me go search for it. Okay. So I found an old project I did years ago for a cheap iPod speaker, and I got a Pringles can here. The speaker's missing. I kind of fucked it up. I, um... I'm not good with soldering. I'll just say that's what happened. So, um... It worked briefly as, like, a temporary test thing, and it's got a plug-in. There's a... hole for it. That's where the cord came out. And there's your, um... Oh no, that was for charging. The aux cable came out of that one right there. And I'll show you the magic inside this thing. I got an old... Oh, fuck. I got a cheap speaker from Big Lots, which is where I got the circuit board from, and that speaker's kaput now. So, I kind of blacksmith the plastic on this thing a little bit, and I'm using that circuit board. So yeah, I had to blacksmith the, damn it, 
I kind of had to blacksmith the uh, plastic a little bit for it to fit in the can here. Get in there, you little bastard. So, uh, yeah, that was my Pringles can speaker, which is doesn't work anymore. But it did. But if you want to do iPod speakers, you have to have a power source. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Something has to be powering your speakers. Unless you um, design magic electricity that you can just pull out of thin air. Shit. Here's the speaker. Look at that thing. It's fucking tiny. Looks big to you, but I mean... Look at that. It's pretty small.